systems. It's a prophetic word titled support systems. And I'm in the book of second Kings chapter seven tonight, second Kings chapter seven. And I'm going to be reading verses one and two from the message version, second Kings chapter seven verses one and two from the message version. And it reads, Elisha said, listen, God's word, the famine is over. This time tomorrow, food will be plentiful. A handful of meal for a shekel, two handfuls of grain for a shekel. The market at the city gate will be buzzing. The attendant on whom the king leaned for support said to the holy man, Elisha, You expect us to believe that? Trap doors opening in the sky and food tumbling out? Elisha said, you will watch it with your own eyes, but you will not eat so much as a mouthful. Amen. So for those of you just tuning in, I read 2 Kings chapter 7 verses 1 and 2 from the message version. This passage of scripture really blessed me today. So there was, to give you some context, there was a severe famine in Samaria. And so, of course, the prices were unreasonably high on everything. Prices tend to go up when things are scarce, right? So the king of Samaria seeks out the prophet Elisha for a word. Like, what are we supposed to do? We're in this famine. Nobody can afford anything. There's no food. What, what do we do? The king sought out the prophet Elisha for a word. And Elisha prophesied that by the very next day, the famine was going to end and everything was going to become affordable. In fact, things were going to be dirt cheap, right? So this was a positive and an encouraging word coming from the prophet Elisha. This was a word about a literal miracle that was about to take place in one day. This minute they're, they're in a famine. They can't afford food. They have no money. And the prophet is saying by tomorrow at this time, everything is going to change. And let me just sidetrack and say, that's a word for somebody. Like you feel like things are going to take a long time to turn around for you. But God is saying that he can do it in a moment, in an instant. Your life can change by this time tomorrow. You never know when it comes on to God. So I just want to divert for a little bit and encourage you on that. So the prophet tells them everything is going to change by tomorrow. And so this word was very encouraging for the king to hear. And this was something that I'm sure the king prayed for, at, you know, as times were really hard. I'm sure the king probably said, okay, what am, I, what am I supposed to do as king? And as the king, you know, everyone was looking to him for answers, for help, for some sort of stimulus check, for something. Come on tonight. So this word from this trusted prophet must have brought the king a sense of peace and a sense of hope. But look at what the Bible says about the king's assistant. The Bible says the attendant, the assistant on whom the king leaned for support said to Elisha in response to this powerful word. He said to Elisha, you expect us to believe that? That trap doors are going to open in the sky and food is going to tumble out? This is what the man that the king was leaning on for support. This is what he said in response to the prophetic word. This man was who the king was literally leaning on for support. His very support system doubted the word that the Lord gave him through the prophet Elisha. Who is your support system in this season, people of God? And do they believe what the Lord has told you or shown you concerning your future? When you tell them, this is what I'm believing God for. Or this is what the Lord told me is going to happen. Are you met with encouragement and support and faith? Or are you met with questions and doubt and unbelief? The Bible says that because this man doubted and questioned the prophetic word, which was the same as doubting God, Elisha told him he would see the miracle, but he would not be able to partake of it. Watch who you're leaning on in this season, people of God. This was the man on whom the king leaned for support. This prophetic word tonight is titled support systems. Watch who you're leaning on for support in this season. If they doubt the word of God concerning your life, 
then you have got the wrong support system and they cannot go where God is taking you. Come on tonight. Come on tonight. I remember sharing a prophetic word or a prophetic revelation once with someone that I considered a part of my support system at the time. And I thought this person would have joined their faith with mine and believed God for what he promised. But instead, the prophetic revelation that I shared with them was met with skepticism. It was met with sarcasm. It was met with doubt. And I learned a valuable lesson that day. And it was this. Don't share if you're not sure. Come on tonight. Don't share if you're not sure. Be careful who you share your dream and your expectation with. Be careful who you share the promise that God has made to you with. You have to be sure of the people's faith levels in this season. Don't share if you're not sure. I want somebody on Periscope to put that up on the screen for me. Join your faith with mine as I go into this word. Don't share if you're not sure, right? Do not share it if you have to, you have to be sure of the people's expectation, the people's faith level, their faith level in this season. If you're leaning on them for support, but they don't have the faith for what God has for you, don't share if you're not sure. Come on. So when your support system doubts what you are believing for, if you're not careful, that can cause you to doubt the promise yourself. Come on. How many of you have shared things with people and they knock it down with doubt and unbelief. And as a result, you stop believing. You start to become doubtful. And I hear Holy Spirit saying tonight that many of you were talked out of things that God promised you because of your support system. Speak Holy Spirit. Many of you were talked out of things that God promised you because of your support system. You talked to them and they talked you out of it. Hear me by the spirit of the Lord. In this season, people of God, you have to learn to decree things in your own quiet time with the Lord. Instead of sharing them with, I hear the Holy Spirit calling them shaky support systems. Come on tonight. Learn to decree things in your own quiet time with the Lord. Instead of sharing them with shaky support systems. Because if they don't believe and they, their unbelief spreads to you and you don't believe, then neither of you is going to get what the Lord has promised. You cannot afford to pick up secondhand doubt in this season. Come on tonight. There is such a thing as secondhand doubt, secondhand unbelief. You can't afford to pick that up in this season. Had the king of Samaria allowed his support system, this assistant, had the king allowed him to get into his ear with his doubt, he probably would have started to doubt too. And then he too would have missed out on the blessing of God's miraculous provision and turnaround in Samaria. The Lord is even revealing, thank you, Holy Spirit. The Lord is even revealing that for some of you, there are friends, family members, and other support systems that have separated themselves from you. Speak, Holy Spirit. The separation was random and you still don't quite understand why or what exactly happened. But Holy Spirit removed them because of the doubt that they confessed in secret about that dream that you shared. You hear me tonight by the Spirit of the Lord. They may not have confessed that doubt and that unbelief to you, but they confessed it in secret. They, can, they spoke it in secret that they don't believe what you shared was from God, or they don't believe that's what God has for you. They don't believe the prophecy you shared. They don't believe the vision you shared. Like the king's assistant, the Holy Spirit is saying they can now only watch your blessing from afar. Come on. They have been removed from you. You don't understand why it happened or how it happened, but the Holy Spirit did it because of your own protection. And they cannot partake in what God has for you. They have to watch the blessing from afar. Hear me tonight. This is not the season for doubt and unbelief. If you don't get anything else that I say tonight from this word, people of God, make sure this resonates in your heart. This is not the season for doubt and unbelief. Settle that with the Lord this night. Whatever doubt and unbelief you have in what the Lord has told you, settle that with the Lord this night because this is not the season for doubt and unbelief. You don't want to miss out on what God has promised for your own life. 
and you don't want to miss out on what he's promised your friends or your loved ones or your family members. Come on, guard your belief in this season. Who's that word for? Guard your belief in this season. Put up a hedge around your belief in this season. The Bible says the following day, the Lord did exactly what the prophet Elisha declared in Samaria. So this man, this, this support system of the king did not believe the prophet. But the Bible says the following day, the Lord did exactly what the prophet declared. And when the people heard that the famine was over, they rushed to the city gate to buy food, to buy other supplies. And listen to what happened to the king's assistant. Listen to what happened to his support system. In verse 17, the message version says, the king ordered his attendant, the one he leaned on for support. He ordered him to be in charge of the city gate. The people turned into a mob, poured through the gate and trampled him to death. It was exactly what the prophet Elijah had said when the king had come to see him. Hear me tonight. The prophet told this man that supported the king, because you did not believe the word of the Lord, you will see it, but you will not be able to partake of it. Can I prophesy this tonight? That every shaky support system in your life will be trampled and run over in this season when God starts to manifest his promises in your life. Receive the word of the Lord tonight. That's a word for every one of us on this call. Every shaky support system, Every support system in your life that you have been leaning on, but the Lord knows it is shaky. It will be trampled and run over in this season when God starts to manifest his promises in your life. Each of us, people of God, is a support system to somebody else. And we all need to guard our mouths in this season from speaking unbelief and doubt into other people's lives. Come on tonight. If someone shares a dream, a prophetic word, or some revelation of God's promise with you, your job is to pray. Hear me tonight. Your job is to pray. Be very careful not to speak doubt over someone's faith in this season. You hear me by the spirit of the Lord, people of God. Be careful not to speak doubt over someone's faith in this season. You don't have to even know if it's from God or not. Listen, people ask me to come in agreement with them all the time over things that they believe the Lord said. I don't say to them, hey, I don't think that that's what God is saying. I take it to the Lord in prayer. I, and I never, when someone tells me God said this to them, I never, I, even if in my heart, my spirit doesn't bear witness. I never say to somebody, I don't believe that's what the Lord is saying to you. No, I don't do that. Be careful not to speak doubt over someone's faith in this season. Your job is not to judge. Your job is to pray. That is what you would want them to do for you. Amen. God has some very unusual, miraculous, amazing things in store for us, people of God. No eye has seen, no ear has heard. He has been telling us that it will be more than we ever imagined. So let us guard our belief in the promise. Let us guard our belief in the promise in this season. And let us not put our mouths on anybody else's belief in their promise. Come on. Let us not put our mouths. Our job is to pray. Even if what they bring to you to say the Lord said is not of God, pray. In prayer, the Lord will touch their hearts. In prayer, the Lord will give them revelation. In prayer, the Lord will speak to them concerning what they are believing. Come on tonight. Guard your belief in the promise and don't put your mouth on anybody else's belief in their promise. Who are you leaning on, people of God? Watch your support systems in this season. He that hath an ear to hear, let him hear what the Spirit of the Lord is saying tonight to the church. Let us go to God in prayer. Thank you, Holy Spirit. Thank you, Holy Spirit. We thank you tonight, God, for the revelation of your word. We thank you for wisdom and guidance, even through this teaching tonight. Truly, you are preparing us for what you have already prepared for us. And we thank you for the great blessings that you have in store for us, God. You told us that it would be more 
than we ever imagined. I will not stop putting you in remembrance of that word, God. You said it would be more than we ever imagined. Help us to guard our belief in this season, God. Forgive us for the times that we have allowed others to talk us out of things that you told us, things that you showed us. We repent tonight. And I even hear, thank you, Holy Spirit. I even hear the Lord saying that if that's you, if you are one who uh, have been talked out, you've been talked out of things that God has told you. You've been talked out of things that God has shown you. Your support system talked you out of it. If that is you tonight, the Lord is saying that you need to go back to the place that you buried your faith and your belief in the promise and you need to unearth it. Come on. You need to dig it up because God's word over your life will not return to him void. Glory. Whoever that is for, receive that tonight in the name of Jesus. Holy Spirit, I pray that you give us the strength to go back to the places where we lost hope, where we became doubtful because of what other people said. Take us back to those places where we put what people said over what you said. Help us to revisit those words. Help us to revisit those promises. Stir up our faith once more, God, in the name of Jesus. Let there be an awakening and as a resurrection, God, of dead and dying faith on this call tonight. Glory. Resurrect every dead and dying faith. Your word says faith without works is dead. And it's the lack of works that causes our faith to die. Because we did not water the seed of our faith with our actions, it died. But Father, you said you are the resurrection and the life. And we press into your resurrection and your life giving power tonight in the name of Jesus for every dream, for every vision, for every prophecy, for every promise that died. We press into your resurrection power tonight in the name of Jesus. Glory, glory to God. Tonight, Holy Spirit, I ask you to expose glory, expose every shaky support system in our lives in the name of Jesus, glory to God. Expose every shaky support system in our lives, God. Do it for every person under the sound of my voice in the name of Jesus. Reveal hearts and secret convictions so that we do not put our trust in doubt and unbelief, glory. Wow, help us not to put our trust in people's doubt and unbelief, glory. That's a word for somebody tonight. Help us not to put our trust in people's doubt and unbelief. You gave us a word. You showed us a vision. You gave us a promise. You spoke to us in dreams, in visions, God. And we put our trust, rather than putting our trust in you, we put our trust in the doubt and the unbelief of our support systems. Help us, God. Help us, God. Reveal hearts in this season. Reveal secret convictions, even those that we are leaning on and depending on. If they are not for us, speak Holy Spirit. If they are not for us, if they're not believing in the same way that we are believing, reveal their hearts, God. Reveal their secret convictions so that we will stop trusting in shaky support systems. Glory. Father, I pray tonight in the mighty name of Jesus, glory, that you restore and redeem those support systems that are repentant, even as we are asking you to expose them, God, for those support systems that are repentant, I pray to God that you will redeem them and you'll restore them in the name of Jesus. If we are the doubtful support systems in the lives of other people, we repent tonight, God, and we ask you to restore us and to redeem us. Glory. And in the same manner, Holy Spirit, we ask you to remove those that refuse to repent in Jesus' name. Remove them. Remove those that are filled with the poison of doubt and have no intention of even seeking you to confirm what you've told us or what you've shown us. Remove this shaky in this season glory and send us the secure glory. Remove the shaky and send us the secure. I want you to pray that tonight, people of God. Those on the free conference call line, pray that prayer. Remove the shaky and send us the secure. For those of you on Periscope, I want you to put that up on the screen. Remove the shaky and send us 
the secure. We only want the secure support systems that you have for us in this season, God. Remove the shaky. Cause only what cannot be shaken to remain glory. Glory, give us wisdom, Father, in this season, in what to share, and when, and with whom. Give us wisdom, God. Some of us share too much. Some of us get so excited about what the Lord reveals, and we run and we share everybody. We share it with everybody, thinking that everybody is of the same mind and the same heart as us. But give us wisdom in this season, glory. Glory to God. Give us wisdom in what to share. Tell us who to share it with. Tell us when to share it. And and help us to guard our own mouths in this season, Holy Spirit, glory. Help us to guard our own mouths in this season. Let us not be quick to offer judgment, glory. Speak, Holy Spirit. Let us not be quick to offer our own opinion when someone shares something with us that they're believing you for. When someone shares something that you told them you would do. We decree and we declare that we will be a believing people tonight, glory. We will, believe, we will be a believing people tonight. Whether we understand the details or not, we will not stagger at the promises of God because of unbelief. Come on tonight. Glory. We will not stagger at the promises of God because of unbelief, regardless of what it looks like, regardless of what it sounds like, regardless of whether or not we see evidence, we will not stagger at the promises of God. Glory. Because of unbelief. But we decree and declare tonight, that our belief will be accounted to us for righteousness. Even as your word said, Abraham believed glory. He believed you and it was accounted to him for righteousness. Let it be accounted to us glory for righteousness in this season. We say be it unto us according to your word and according to our faith tonight in the glorious name of Jesus. Father, we thank you for bringing divine support systems in this season. That is all we want, God, in this season. We don't want anything that comes from the flesh. We don't want anything that comes from the enemy. We don't want anything that comes from the systems of this world. We thank you for bringing divine support systems in this season. Bring them with confirmation that we will know in our hearts that these support systems came from you. Glory. That none of our dreams, none of our visions, no prophetic word or promise will die on their watch. Speak Holy Spirit. Glory. Bring divine support systems, God. People of like precious faith. People that will hold us accountable to your word. People that will hold us accountable to what we say we're believing you for, not naysayers. We silence the mouth of the naysayers in this season in the name of Jesus. Glory. Cause us to be divine support systems for the people in our lives as well. Let it be reciprocal. I speak that. Thank you, Holy Spirit. I hear that. Divine reciprocity. I speak that in the spirit. Let it be reciprocal, God. Bring us divine support systems and let us be divine support systems for the people in our lives. I just speak a wave of faith, a wave of hope, a wave of confidence in the promises of God. I speak that wave sweeping across every heart tonight in the name of Jesus. We declare, we declare that it will be just as it was told to us. Glory. It will be just as it was told to us, God. We agree in faith tonight in the mighty name of Jesus. If you agree, people of God, I want you to say we agree in Jesus' name. Come in agreement with this prayer. We agree in the mighty name of Jesus. You are removing the shaky and you are sending us the secure glory to God. And you are making us secure divine support systems for other people. If we are shaky, you are causing us to become secure in this season. Thank you, Holy Spirit. Thank you, Holy Spirit. So, Father, I cover your people under the blood from the crowns of their heads to the soles of their feet. I thank you tonight, God. I thank you for what you're doing in their lives. I thank you for how you're moving. I thank you for the visions, the dreams that you are bringing back from the dead. I thank you for the resurrection power of the Holy Spirit being manifested, God, even on this call, in dreams, in visions, in prophetic words. There are some of you, there are things you've been believing God for, but because people talked you out of it, you even don't even remember that that was something God promised you. I speak over you tonight. In the mighty name of Jesus, that the Lord is going to begin to remind you 
He's going to begin to remind you in this season of words that he spoke over you that you forgot about because of discouragement from shaky support systems. Hear me by the spirit of the Lord. Get ready for a visitation, people of God. His word will not return to him void. And though you may have forgotten, God has not forgotten. Come on. God has not forgotten his word concerning you. So Father, I cover your people under the blood of Jesus tonight. From the crowns of their heads to the soles of their feet, I speak a block in their ear gate, even tonight. From everything that is not of you, every voice of every stranger, I speak a block to their ears right now, God, that they will not hear the voice of strangers in this season. They will not give heed to the voice of naysayers and negative Nancys in this season. In the mighty name of Jesus, I speak even a veil over their eyes, God, for things that did not come from you, for things that they're seeing that are not even of you. Let them not even take that in. Let them not even receive that in this season. I pray for sharpened discernment, glory, sharpened discernment in this season for your people to know and discern what is you and what is not of you, what they should come in agreement with and what they should run away from. Speak Holy Spirit. I release that wisdom over them tonight, Father. And I cover them under your blood from the crowns of their heads to the soles of their feet. I break off every spirit of unbelief and every spirit of doubt because you so clearly said this is not the season for unbelief and doubt. We don't want to be caught like that, that assistant that the king leaned on for support. We don't want to be caught like him, not being able to participate or partake of the promise because of unbelief. So, Father, I thank you that you're strengthening our faith and that you're stirring up our faith and our belief in your word and in your promises, even on this call tonight. I thank you for renewed faith breaking forth on this call. So, Father, we love you tonight. Glory. We love you tonight, God. We give your name the glory. We give your name the honor. I seal this word. I seal this word in the hearts of your people and I pray that you will send confirmation, that you will confirm this word in the mouth of two or three witnesses. Let every word spoken tonight be established in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. We love you, God. And we say thank you. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen, amen, amen. To God be the glory. People of God, I pray that you are encouraged by this word tonight. I cannot tell you how many times I've read that passage of scripture. And this is the first time the Lord has given me that revelation about support systems. And I really feel, and many of you on Periscope confirmed, you know, that this word was for you. And I really believe the Lord wanted to release this word to be careful of the support systems. Be careful of what you're leaning on. Who you're sharing your dreams with. And your prophetic words with. And what you're believing God for. Be careful people of God. But the Lord has promised tonight. That he will send divine support systems. Thank you Holy Spirit. And my prayer for each of you. Thank you Holy Spirit. My prayer for each of you. Is that the Lord will begin to download in your hearts. The things that you are to look for as confirmation that these support systems are from him. Amen. Amen, God. That is my prayer for you, people of God. That the Lord will begin to download in your hearts because it's different. Each of us have different things that we need. And it's going to be different for each of us. But my prayer for you tonight is that the Lord will begin to download in your heart what to look for, to know when this, when, th when this person is a divine support system. And that'll also help you to be able to identify counterfeits and shaky support systems in this season. Amen. Receive that in Jesus' name. I love you guys so much. I am praying for you. Continue to keep the midnight cry prayer call lifted in prayer. Have a safe weekend. And by the grace of God, we'll be back on the prayer call again on Tuesday at midnight Eastern Standard Time. 11 p.m. Central Standard Time. If you have not yet subscribed to our YouTube channel, please feel free to go ahead and do that. It is called MNC Prayer Call. God bless you guys, and I'll talk with you by the grace of God on Tuesday.